Welcome to Level Up Africa. We've been taking a look at Unity Game Dev, and here we'll see, now that you're interested, what's next for you as a game developer who wants to learn more. So here we'll take a look at quick introductions of the two of us, then some learning resources you can use to expand your interest and knowledge about Unity and learn some more. Then we'll take a look at some games that are done with Unity. So these are games that are out in the market, just so you can see the types of games, some of the ones you may already know that are done with Unity. And then we'll play a game here live just to see another Unity game here in front of us and talk a little bit about the concepts here. So quick introductions, my name's Sam, I'm from the States and I'm traveling the world doing game dev education. I'm currently in Nairobi, Kenya, where I've met Brian. Names are Brian the Beast, professional gamer, esports athlete, gaming mentor. If, it, if it's video games, I'm all about it. Nice. So Level Up Africa is a program just about connecting people around gaming through the African continent, creating games, talking about games, playing games competitively, as Brian does, and then collaborating and coming up with new content like these video series that we're doing now. So some of the learning resources you can take a look at. Unity is an excellent place to learn more. They not only create the Unity editor and the ecosystem that we use as game devs, but they have a really good documentation. So you can go to unity.com Unity and look at their blog to see new features and updates, signing up for that newsletter. Once or twice a month, you'll see a new version or feature of Unity's out. Sometimes they celebrate AAA games using Unity. So it's a cool way just to get a little bit of marketing interest and information. There's also the Unity Forum, which is a place that all game devs post to on threads about how this game was made, how to solve particular challenges. You can ask questions, answer questions there. So a real social message board there. Uh, you can look at the docs at Unity as well. The documentation has kind of user manuals about how to solve certain challenges. And then it also has the full documentation. So if you're curious about how to rotate a cube or how to move a character, you can look up the APIs there and know how to do it with code or with the visual scripting that we've seen. Um, also, I've created courses myself, so you can look at my website and I have two basic flavors. There's online courses that are downloadable videos, uh, things that are available through udemy.com and platforms like that. And then I do live online classes so that you can join as a one-on-one -on -one training or in group and learn all the aspects of the fundamentals of Unity game development all the way through to if you're a seasoned expert, but you want to learn a new aspect of Unity, you can do it there. No problem. So if you're already an expert as well at Unity, you could still learn about new systems and techniques. And one of the online courses that I have available as downloadable videos that I just recently launched is related to architecting your Unity projects. So how do you design all the different systems and have them play nicely together? So it's excellent for people kind of in the mid of their career. So more contact for info for me to see more of those courses and my examples, the information's available here. Also as a game educator and a game developer, I'm available for remote contract hire. You can contact me there. So let's take a look at some games that are made with Unity. On a lot of social media platforms like Instagram, for example, you can look at this hashtag and see the community sharing projects that are usually already done and launched that are made with Unity. So if you're ever curious about a particular game and whether it was used with Unity or not, you can check it out there. So let's take a look at this video here and see a recent trailer. This is from the Game Developer Conference from this year and see some of the Unity games created.
20,000 girls. And long story short, he picked you. So as we saw a bunch of trailers for games there, what are some things that you thought about now that you've learned a little bit about Unity or what did you think of the trailer? First of all, I realized I played a couple of games. No, it's not just two, you know, I just thought I played most of the games I thought I played were mobile. Yep. But now I'm seeing uh, even uh, our AAA games are made by Unity and I'm like, I've played a couple of those like Son of Man uh, and damn. Yeah, Unity is used for a lot of stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, traditionally, Unity started out as a mobile-friendly platform, and first you'd only develop for mobile. But yeah. they've added more AAA graphics and audio capabilities, even things that we've seen, like being able to write your own shaders and do your own visual effects. Yeah. They're all things that raise the game about what you're able to do. So some Unity competitors started out much more AAA-focused, and they're trying to simplify their workflows so that mobile-friendly uh, teams can can get a handle on them. Yeah. But we've seen there, look, what I'm struck with is, you know, this is Unity's own trailer, so yeah. it's obviously great stuff, but it's there's such a variety of visual styles. Exactly. We've seen 2D stuff, 3D yeah. stuff. Then there was some, like, live video games yeah. that I yeah. didn't even know. Yeah. Even VR. VR as yeah. well. Oh, like, that is VR. Yeah, the majority of VR games are done with Unity. The majority of mobile and the majority of VR. They've, they've, con they've totally conquered those two yes. aspects of game dev. Yeah. For PC games that are highest end, they don't yet have that market. There's a lot of competition there. Yeah, but they, they, they can easily, I mean, whatever they're already doing is already part of what is there. So it's, they're, they're in it already. For sure, yeah. for sure. Yeah. All right, so let's see uh, what else we got here. Oh, we already looked at that. Now that we've looked at some made with Unity cool game content, we're going to play a game here and do a demo. So here we're demoing not the Unity editor, but a game that I happen to play and love and I'm very inspired by as a game dev. It's called Marvel Snap. So this game started out as a mobile game only and has expanded to other platforms, including PC through Steam. So that's something that we've seen you can do with Unity. If you have a project designed well enough in a certain way that can flex with the different aspect ratios of the graphics, that can handle low power devices and high power devices elegantly, you can with Unity deploy it to all of the platforms you want to. So this is one that probably a year after it was out and quite successful, they brought it to PC. So we'll take a look at that now. That uh, the artwork is just it's awesome. I live for that. <laughs> yeah, so I'll play one game here. I'm not going to explain the rules, but this is a trading card game where you can also collect these cards. There are in app purchases, but the game is free, and the in app purchases, I think, only unlock cosmetic features. So that's a business decision that the team does. So here in each turn, I can play one card, typically, in one of three positions. So some of the things that we're seeing here are we see some visual effects in that number one in the cube at the top. There are some really cool visual effects, but that's actually done with the VFX that we, uh, we took a look at already. All through these explosions and that little rocket that shot around. Even these effects here are done with either shader graph or VFX graph. So we've seen a lot of stuff there. Yeah. I can't play that turn, so we'll skip. This game is also multiplayer, and so you're able to play it against people on different machines. So Unity handles the multiplayer aspect as well. 
And then on each card, there's just really cool effects. Again, we've got like the shininess near the number of seven is the shader graph. The sparkles near number one is VFX. So we're seeing it really all come together here. Oh, I'd never seen that one before. Ah, it says never seen it. That's cool. I can't play anything that round. Hmm, never seen that before either. If you play your next card here, double its power. Okay, that's cool. Oh, it's hard. Okay, round five. So I'm losing all three locations. This one gives me plus two for each card in your hand. I think hand is this. Yeah. So that seems like it's going to give me a lot of power. Yeah. Uh, okay, I got to play that. It seems like too much power, actually. I'm surprised. Let's see. Is it going to give me one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve? Oh, oh, they're playing one too. <laughs> oh, it worked. Yeah. Okay. Now the opponent snapped, doubling down the benefit they get if they win. I could retreat if I wanted to. Now clearly I've lost the first one. Yeah. I'm leading the second. If I can capture the third, split your total power evenly among all locations. That's kind of cool. I'm going to go with just the Hulk. Yeah. Just hope that no card is played on the right. So this is an example of a Unity game that, while 2D and 2D games, you think of them being more simple, there's so much polish to the presentation, the sound effects, the original art, the VFX, the shader graph, like everything coming together here and being multiplayer. It's an amazing game to check out if you want to see Unity games in action. I've also read on the Unity blog some articles by Unity about how this game was made. So if you want to step into the Unity.com blog, you can read a little bit more about how big the team was and what different job roles they had. And sometimes Unity blog showcases how people got their first job in gaming, whether for a game company or Unity themselves. Uh, Unity is a very big company spread around the world. They were based in Denmark for many years. Now they're based in the States, but they have offices in a lot of places. They're making the game editor and all the tools that we get as devs. And then they're also making services like multiplayer so you can connect your game together with other players and all sorts of things like that as well. So we'll pop back to the slides to finish up here. Any other thoughts you had while we were watching this game? It's very engaging. Like the colors are what get me the colors popping, the effects, the effects are like when you get an interaction, for example, when you use the Punisher, that missile goes, hits the other side. Like you're playing a card game, but it has those interactions and that's just a game changer. I haven't seen that in a lot of games. Super cool. And I've played a lot of games. So it's something that uh, really has my intention, especially now that I know what is going on in the background. Right. Yeah, it's really captivating. Other than that, I'm looking forward to play this game. I mean, I'm all about these games, man. Nice, yeah, this nice. One, this one can be used as a very good example. For example, if somebody asks me about game dev, I'll just take this game and be like, oh, so let's start with this simple game. It's the simple game, mm -hmm. this is VFX, and this is Shredder, and this is what it does. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's a really good example of what's possible. Yeah. All right. So back here into the slides to finish up, this is the end of the series. There could be more videos in the future, but this is the what's next video. Now that you're inspired, you've seen some made with Unity examples to get you excited. We played a game together and I also linked to lots of different resources. For all the videos, there will be links below. Anytime a slide suggested a link or something to check out, I'll be sure that's there. So you can follow along and check it out. And then if you're interested enough to get Unity Editor, that is free for you to get. 
You can download it on any laptop, Mac, Windows, Linux, and give it a try for free. You can do all the features of Unity forever for free. There's no time limit or anything. So it's a really exciting place for you to learn more and play around. And I'll include a link to that sample project that we showed so that you can play around right within the context of some of the stuff that we've covered here. So this is the end. So Brian, anything you want to say, just as a final recap of everything that we've, uh, we've covered? Uh, first, I'll start with a question. Yeah, sure. Do you think I'm ready for game development? I think you're ready for game development. And the second part is going to be a uh, vote of thanks. Uh, maybe we didn't mention, I met Asha through LinkedIn. I saw him, he posted he's coming to visit Kenya and he's coming to uh, talk about game dev. I don't know what, I don't remember the post exactly, but I remember he talked about something about game dev. Mm. And me being the gaming enthusiast I am, I said I want to be all rounded in the space, understand game development, game marketing, play professional video games. Like I just want to be able to talk to people who don't have access to people like Asha and let them know what opportunities are awaiting them. And he reached back out and we did this session and I learned so much. I'm really happy about this. And mine to him would just be to say thank you. I'm truly humbled for having me. And don't stop doing the work, especially in Africa. We need we need your input like mad. We have a lot of stories, and I feel like uh, I play a lot of video games with Greek mythology and all that. I haven't seen anybody cover anything to do with African stories. Yeah, and we have a lot of it just sitting there. So once we start having this idea on how to conceptualize and make video games, I feel like I learned a lot about Greek that even in books yeah. just by playing video games so we can use this as a tool to tell african stories as well and just in, get africans to game in an africa type of way you know but then we will need some a specialist like you to come and tell us oh this is what the shader does you want this guy to do this and this so i'm thankful for you coming through reaching out and uh, making this happen yeah yeah looking forward to i just keep following and making sure that we keep tabs and uh keep up the good work cool i appreciate it too thanks for coming thanks for uh being a great student going through all this new information and sharing more about your life and your experience with games i'm super excited for africa as a market for playing games as developers to create games telling more stories that are unique to the region, as Brian said. And there's such an amazing opportunity where people first learn about stories through games that then can become books, movies, etc. Sometimes it works movies first, sometimes it works game first, but I think there's an awesome opportunity for game dev here in telling more stories and giving the world more exposure to the unique aspects of Africa. So thanks everybody for the videos. Thanks to Brian for being the guest and uh, good luck in enjoying and learning more about game dev out there. Thank you.